All right, I didn't start uh, filming until I was about halfway through that load. I had my GoPro, I threw it in the corn crib, got you a little time lapse. We're out grinding feed today, or I am. I made the mistake of waiting until a Monday to grind feed. We had a day off work, and that means my little brother's in school, so he's not over here helping, so got to, uh, Shovel the corn, get out of the crib, go around, dump the bags in, do it all. But better than a day, go, day of going to work. Cows are over there eating off of the round bale. Uh, walking out to get the 560, I got the first tank load full. You guys probably seen I had a little trouble with the belt, or you will see. I'll probably put the time lapse after this so you guys know what's going on. Uh, had a little trouble with the belt. I'll show you that when I get back up there. What it, it knocked it off and then I put it back on wrong, so I'll show you what I did with that. Feed wagon's all the way empty, fed the last of it today, so fill it back up. And of course it's 20 degrees hotter today than it was over the weekend. So it's hot in the corn crib and we're shoveling. So I'll talk to you guys when I'm up there unloading. So this is that belt I was talking about. You guys either already have or you will see it in the time lapse. It falls off, just sitting there spinning. So I came out, unplugged it obviously, got the belt back on, but the tensioner, I put it on that bottom one. I wasn't thinking that doesn't have enough spring to pull that down, so you can see it's loose. I just plugged it back in and it instantly I threw a scoop of corn in it and it didn't have the tension, it was just sitting there spinning. So I had to unplug it, come back out, and move it like that. Can't believe the old bungee cord here didn't have enough tension to pull it down, but it didn't. Bungee cord's probably older than me, but we got it going now. So I'm getting ready to grind the second load. You can see that's little over two-thirds of the way full. You can see the mounds and then there's some in the back. I'll put a little bit more on there and then decide if I'm going to finish filling the tank back up. It's pretty hot, but I'll probably just do it. So I might get you guys some more time lapse or I'll talk to you later.
as always, same recipe. Eggland Beef Maker 6. Get 75 pounds of that. 8 pounds of salt. 15 pounds of yeast. And then 300 pounds of soybean meal. Per uh, about 4,500 to 5,000 pounds of ground ear corn. And we get it all from Grotech in Modoc, Indiana. So I'm going to get the rest of this dumped in there. Alright, so you guys can probably see that's full all the way up to the top of that top glass. I estimate I shoveled about uh, 12,000 pounds of corn. I mean, when I started, the corn was about right here. So I was only shoveling it a little ways, but you can see. Those boards are about a foot each. We're about eight feet back and it was up over my head for the most part. Some of it was angled down a little bit like that, but over half of it was up over my head like it is right now, actually a little bit taller than that. So that's uh, that uh, wagon, flare box is full heaped up as full as you can get it and then the grinder is also as full as you can get it so now I'm going to go fold the auger in and back the grinder up into the shed. All right, so that was pretty good. Got it backed in in basically one try. Right before I got it right here to where that wall there would have taken it out, I uh, realized I forgot to flip the one uh, wing to the auger back there in. I remembered probably three inches before I hit those two by sixes. So that was good, but hopped out move those and or flip that in and continued in the same way that's got probably a little over 5,000 pounds of feet on it this has a little over 7,000 pounds of feet on it you can see we're decorating for Halloween now nah, those are rotten pumpkins for treats for the cows grandpa sells pumpkins so when a few are rotten he throws them in the wagon and we feed them to the cows. So, I'm gonna take this out and put it in the feed shed. Well, I decided to be a decent human being and fuel this up while it's by the fuel tanks. I noticed it was getting low, so I figured I'd fuel it up so that way my brother doesn't have to. And we're out of fuel.
Well, I guess he's gonna have to deal with the low fuel tank. So I think I forgot to do an ending to this video. So hope you guys enjoyed Sissy catching her biscuit. And now enjoy this picture of Rusty trying to hitch a ride on the sled while I was dragging it out from duck hunting. As always, have a good one.